Elevation Workflow Video. In this video we will show you how to use Undet for AutoCAD to make building elevation drawing from point cloud data. Building elevation drawing can be divided into seven steps. First step is to create correct UCS. Second step is building outline drawing. Third step is to draw windows and doors. Fourth step is to draw facade element and details. Fifth step is to draw roof. Sixth step is to draw other side views if any apply. Last step is to annotate drawn objects. For building elevation workflow video we will use specific template. Let's open it. Now let's open Undet project. Reason why we used this specific template is because it has all layers that you need to properly complete building elevation drawing. Those layers will help you to separate objects and organize drawing. If you want to have this template, contact us via email info at undet.com. First let's create view section of object that we are interested in. If you want to know more about how to manage view sections and color point cloud, please watch video Undet for AutoCAD, how to start. This video is attached in video description. After creating view section let's adjust its size so that we will only see building walls. Let's start first step and let's create correct UCS. Let's rotate view. You should find longest collinear wall and rotate our view by drawing line and using command view by line from visibility management tools tab. After this let's create new UCS that is defined by current view. Let's save this UCS and assign name to it. To do it, you can use UCSMAN command from your command line. Now let's draw rectangle to check if our new UCS is correct, and if our building walls are perpendicular. To make sure everything is good, adjust rectangle and check couple separate walls. As we can see all walls are perpendicular so now we know that our UCS is good. Let's offset that rectangle so that our projection would be in front of point cloud and when we will start drawing our objects those objects would be in front of point cloud and it will not disturb our view. Now we have to rotate our UCS so that our drawing plane would be same as our building elevation plane. To do so let's use three points UCS function and specify our X, Y and Z axis so they will match with building facade plane. Let's save new UCS and rename it. We can move on to second step, building outline drawing. While inspecting facade we see that there are four different sections, we will work with one section at the time. We should indicate which section is the closest to our projection and start from this section. Before moving on to drawing we should know what kind of tolerance we will be using. Our practice shows that it is best to keep 30mm tolerance while drawing perpendicular objects. So let's follow that. Let's create new separate view section and name it as you wish. We will name it first block. We will duplicate this view section so if you will ever need or want to see full view of section you can easily do it. Now when we have view section of full view of our first section we can apply desired coloring to it, then adjust view section size and start drawing building outline. Let's select external walls layer and draw building outline. We recommend to work with smaller view sections and green indicator. Also it is faster to move clipping box using gizmo, or change clipping box size if you are working on the same plane instead of creating new view section every time. After finishing outline we can move to third step and draw windows and doors. Let's create new view section of window by using function to create view section in current view section. It is useful to have separate view sections for separate objects, because it allows you to navigate much more faster. When you are drawing objects such as windows or doors we recommend to use two viewports, to adjust view section in one of them and see instant result in another.
To correctly identify object place we recommend to try to adjust clipping box position, try different coloring options, and turn off unnecessary data files. Turning off unnecessary data files can be done in Undet Palette Data Files and Active View section list. In this list you can see all data files that is seen in your Active View section. We recommend to indicate one position with most information and keep it on while turning all other positions off. This will help you to see clearest possible view without duplicate points. It all depends on what kind of detail level you are aiming for, let's say our detail level is basic and our doors and windows will be indicated as simple one-line objects. If you see that most of the windows look alike, we recommend to copy them to save some time. Also, try to use view section which is closer to ground level because if building is really high, and outside was scanned from ground level, the most accurate view of window or other object will be at same level at which scanner was placed. Now we have our building outline windows and doors basic drawing. At most cases it is not enough and drawing like this could be generated from picture or blueprints. To see more undet potential let's detail our window by showing all window elements, not just window wall opening. Let's identify windows glazing, opening, profiles and more. We are adding line every time there is angle change in the window structure so that we can indicate and show all window elements. Here too view ports becomes really useful because as we can see, there are a lot of changes in window structure, and rotating view every time to adjust clipping box size or position would take a lot of time. When you will be more familiar with point cloud data, you will be able to identify object elements without cropping it every time, here we did it on educational purpose. The way you draw objects it is all up to you. Undet will not change your workflow, it will make it faster. And it does not matter if you are drawing objects from lines, rectangles, copying them, or arraying. It is all up to you. To get best understanding about object that you are drawing don't hesitate and try different coloring options, as some details might be visible better when you are coloring your point cloud by intensity, while others might be better with coloring by plane. If project has coloring by source you can use it to inspect situation as well, because this coloring will show you situation with real colors. After further investigation we noticed that these windows are not standard and instead of profiles they have walls in between window glazing, so we adjusted window openings and marked wall segments as external wall. After drawing detailed window let's draw all other windows in same detail. We should apply same detail level to doors as well. Now we can see really detailed view of our doors and windows. As we are done with this step we can move on and start working with our roof. Now we will create smaller view section and change active layer to roof detail, and start outlining roof. We will draw all roof elements that we can see, since our detail level is not basic anymore. As we can see our roof elements have couple angle changes, and we will be showing all of them by separating them by line. Once again couple view ports becomes useful. We will also draw small elements that sits on top of the roof. Now we can move further and draw facade elements. For that we should inspect facade, identify additional facade elements and decide if that is facade element or decor element. Let's draw them and apply it to whole facade.
Reason why we have to separate facade elements from details is because it is easier to manage drawing and when we will print drawing it would not be overload and we would be able to see clear structure of the building. What we did not do yet, we did not inspect basement. As we can see our previously draw ground level line is incorrect since we have another entrance to the basement. Let's delete this line and let's draw basement elements that can be seen in this elevation. Our view right now is very unclear and it is really hard to determine what we are seeing. To get clear view once again we will turn off all unnecessary data files. But now we can see that we don't have single data file which would cover majority percent of our current view section, instead we have few of them. So now we will turn on our scanned data files position locations and we will find one position that is closest to area we are working on. To turn on data files location simply check BB box. BB stands for bubbles. After turning on bubbles we can locate scan position we need. We can see that in our case it's data file which name ends with number 286. Let's locate this data file in our palette and isolate view of this position. Now our view is much cleaner than before. We can start drawing stairs, it is pretty easy since we see outline of stairs very clear. After stairs let's draw doors as well. After doors we can start working with walls. In this case we will use layer named walls, not external walls, since this wall does not belong to main facade and it is closer to our projection. Let's add the fence that we can see on top of the wall. And let's finish wall. Now we can draw correct ground line since we deleted wrong one previously. Because everything we see about basement is in the same projection as our inspected facade, but those elements are behind the wall or lower than ground level, we will change line type of those elements to identify that they are assumed. So after finishing one segment of our facade you can continue working on remaining three. After drawing all of them and connecting them you can see how your building elevation looks like. Detail level of this project was high, so we added rain water pipes, facade detail elements, ventilation, and lights location, post box location and so on. Now you can draw side views of current elevation and continue working on other elevations. Finally after drawing all objects defined in our tasks we can annotate them and take a look at how final drawing looks like. Thank you for watching and see you in our next videos. For more info subscribe our channel or visit our website at www.undet.com.